Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss application of partial differentiation that is uh, Jacobian. Now in this topic we discuss about uh, how to find the continuous and differentiable functions and it's a partial differentiation. Now let me start. <music> When u and v are the functions of x, y, then you have to take continuous its partial derivative as that is a Jacobian of u, v with respect to x, y. So this is more applicable for we have to find suppose a product of two function is given and we have to solve them. So it can be solved by using also chain rule is there. So let me start first. What is the definition of uh, Jacobian? Let's see. If u of xy and v of xy are continuous and differentiable functions of continuous and differentiable functions of two variables two variables x and y such as x and y then then Jacobian of that is the name of scientist here so I am writing now in capital letters so first letter is a capital so Jacobian of u and v that is it can be denoted by Jacobian of u comma v with respect to with respect to here the two variables here x and y is denoted as is denoted as that is Jacobian of u v that is u comma v upon x comma y means what is that it is Jacobian of u v with respect to x y or this can be also denoted as that is second notation Jacobian of u v in the form of partial differentiation so let me write here that is a daba u v or we call that is a del u v upon del x y or simply we have to denote it by capital J or simply you have to denote it by capital J and is defined as and is defined as that is a Jacobian of u comma v upon x y means Jacobian u v with respect to x y this is given as it is a determinant of that is a daba u divided by daba x into here daba u divided by daba y in the second row you have to write here daba v divided by daba x and next daba v divided by daba y because of that u and v are the functions of two variable that's why we have to differentiate u with respect to x and y and differentiate v with respect to x and y so you observe this this is 2 by 2 determinant this is 2 by 2 determinant right in first row you have to write the partial differentiation of u with respect to x and y and in second row partial differentiation of v with respect to x and y or there is another notation for denote this uh, jacobian so it is a simply determinant of that is u x u y u x u y and here v x v y where u x and u y these are the partial derivative of u with respect to x and y and v x and v y this is also partial derivative with respect to x and y respectively. So similarly, if you have to given three functions. Similarly, if you have to given three function. Now let me discuss in next slide. Let's see. Similarly, if u comma v comma w are the three functions of are the three functions of x comma y and z then Jacobian of u v w with respect to here x comma y comma z is is simply in a notation you know that you have to denote just it is capital J or you have to denote now in this way that is a J of J of so how many functions is there three function u v and w divided by with respect to I am writing here 
एक्स वाई एंड जेड मीन्स यू कॉमा वी कॉमा डब्ल्यू अपॉन एक्स वाई जेड और सिंपली यू हैव टू ऑल्सो राइट इन द नोटेशन ऑफ पार्शियल डिफ्रेंसिएशन दैट इज डाबा यू वी डब्ल्यू अपॉन डाबा एक्स कॉमा वाई कॉमा जेड राइट सो this is nothing but this is nothing but this is also a determinant but how many variables are there in a determinant there are three variables so the order of the determinant is 3 by 3 so let's see order of determinant is 3 by 3 means what is that in the first row you have to write all the derivatives of u with respect to x that is a partial derivative of u with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z in the first row in the second row you should have to write second variable and it's a differentiation that is a partial differentiation so second variable is what v so daba v upon daba x next daba v upon daba y and next daba v upon daba z now remaining variable you have to write here it's a derivative daba w upon daba x daba w upon daba y and daba w upon daba z we call this is a del also right means a del u v w with respect to del x y z also there is another notation or i am writing here or the notation is what you have to just write in short form that is in first row derivative of u that is a ux then uy then uz next here vx vy vz and next one is here wx wy and wz right this is all about the definition of jacobian i hope so you have to understand this after the definition we discuss here properties of jacobian now let me start properties of jacobian properties of jacobian so what are the property of jacobian let's see so there are three property we discuss here so first property if if u and v u and v are the functions of are the functions of here simply two variables so that is x and y right and the jacobian is defined here that is a daba u v upon daba here x comma y and and we have to also find if j is daba u v upon daba x y then j dash can be written as this is daba x y with respect to daba u comma v right so you know this very well if jacobian is there j dash is it's a reciprocal means or i am writing here then then you have to just assume what is that j and j dash means j and j dash that is equal to this is daba u v upon daba x comma y into j dash is daba x y upon daba u v okay i hope so you have to understand this this u v and this uh, u v means these are the cancel here and you will getting the result j j dash is equal to what is that one so that is the first property we discuss here j into j dash that is equal to 1 i hope so you have to understand this now let me start property number second right so property number second is what that is all about here uh, this property is related to chain rule that is chain rule of jacobian so what is the chain rule let's see is here suppose u and v be the two functions and these are the different function of x and y so let me write here if if u equals to f1 of here x comma y so what is that u equal to some function f1 of xy comma v is also equal to there is another function we say f2 of xy and there is one more writing one more function in the form of x and y so x is nothing but now x is equal to that is a some another function x is equal to that is we call the another function phi 1 of r and theta phi 1 of r and theta and the y is equal to that is here phi 2 of r and theta so let's see here if u and v are the different functions of x y and again x and y are the functions of r and theta then 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 how it will be calculated the jacobian of u v 
with respect to here x y with respect to x y this can be done by using this formula let's see what i am writing here that is a daba u v upon here daba first you see here u is a function of u and v are the functions of x y right and x and y are the functions of r theta so by definition of composite function you know very well by definition of composite function just you have to write down here u is a function of so i am also telling or i want to also show here by using the graphical method suppose u and v are the functions of here x and y so let's see u and v are the functions of x and y and these x and y are the functions of here r and theta so r comma here theta so by definition of composite function u is a function of r and theta so that function is called as here composite function composite function right so in this way you have to just calculate here then daba of u v upon daba of r theta so how it will be calculated so just let's see in this way we have to calculate it first of all u v is a function of what is that x y means i am writing daba u v upon daba x y into x y is a function of here r and theta so that's why we have to just differentiate x y with respect to r and theta so let's see that is into daba of here x comma y divided by daba of r and theta right i hope so you have to understand this uh, chain rule so this is called as this is called chain rule right this is called chain rule of jacobian of jacobian I hope so you have to understand this point so what is the first property j into j dash equal to 1 and what is the second property that is all about uh, here the chain rule it's similar like uh, chain rule of differentiation that is a chain rule in here partial differentiation means chain rule in here jacobian so the chain rule of jacobian is uh, true for functions of a three and more variable so there is a note i am writing here this chain rule this chain rule is true for is true for jacobian of means i am writing it is a functions of functions of three and more three and more variables variables means the jacobian chain rule it is applicable for three and more variables so by using this rule we have to just find what is the derivative of the composite function or what is the jacobian of composite function so these are the property number second now let me discuss next property that is property number third let's see so here property number third so property number third is what is that here let's see the function u comma v of two independent variable the function u comma v r or these are the functions of two or more independent variable means i am writing just is in this way if u and v of two independent variable two independent variable x comma y are functionally dependent are functionally dependent if if that is a daba uv upon daba xy that is equal to zero means there is a property and this is very important so let's see here the functions of uv means the function uv of two independent variable x and y are functionally dependent if and only if it's a jacobian equal to zero means in some example you want to show here the function is a dependent or independent so by using this result you have to show it is a dependent or not right this is property number third so in this discussion we are totally discuss here so i am writing some remark or that is a summary type here summary type remarks are here so number one what is the property that is a j into j dash that is equal to one 
नंबर सेकंड व्हाट इज प्रॉपर्टी इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड डैबा यूवी अपॉन डैबा आर थीटा बाय यूजिंग कंपोजिट फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डैबा यूवी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डैबा एक्स वाई एंड देन डैबा एक्स वाई विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डैबा आर कॉमा थीटा मींस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आर एंड थीटा सो इफ इफ व्हेन दिस वी हैव टू राइट you have to getting here u and v are the functions of here x comma y and x comma y are the functions of here r and theta then and then we have to use the chain rule so this is chain rule for jacobian this is chain rule for jacobian next and third property the function u v are said to be functionally dependent means if u and v of two independent variable of x y are functionally dependent for u comma v are two independent variables two independent variables x comma y are functionally dependent functionally dependent if if there is a result what is that result u v daba u v with respect to daba x y that is equal to here zero means just you have to satisfy this uh, jacobian that is equal to zero then we say the u and v are functionally dependent i hope so you have to understand the definition of uh, jacobian and what are the properties of jacobian right thank you